Hello all, I'm Tristan Cope from the Marion County K-State Research and Extension Office. And today I'm talking with the Marion County Health Department, Erin Hine, about face masks and social distancing with the governor's new orders. Erin, welcome. Good morning. Erin, so when we are talking about face masks and wearing them in public, can you give us a few tips on how to use our face masks properly? Yeah. So it is recommended now that when you're out in public, meaning around other people, places like the grocery store, businesses, doctor's office, pharmacies, those kind of places, that you wear a mask. Um, the first recommendation is, is that if you're making a homemade mask, that it be made with 100% cotton and that that fabric is tightly woven. Um, that helps um, in both protecting you and the people around you. Um, there are a couple different types of masks that you can make at home. And the first one I'll show you is Tristan has one um, that is made with fabric and it has elastic that goes around your ears. When Tristan puts the mask on, she'll hold it by the elastic and put it around her ears, making sure she covers both her nose and mouth. If both your nose and mouth are not covered, you are not protecting yourself or others. Both of those need to be covered when you're wearing the mask. When Tristan takes off the mask, she's going to take it off from behind also. She is not going to touch the front of the mask in any way. It's also important that you wash your hands both before and after you take off your mask. If you're taking off your mask in a car after you've been at the grocery store, you should have a bag or something that you can put the mask immediately into. Once you're home, it's important to go ahead and wash those fabric masks. You need to be cleaning them after each use. Um, the mask that I have is a little bit different than Tristan's, mine ties. And it also has this little spot here in the back that you can insert a filter in. And it just helps with a little added protection when you're wearing the mask. Also with mine, I will remove it from the back. I won't touch the front of the mask at all when I'm putting it on or removing it. Thank you, Erin. Those were great tips on how to properly put on a mask and then to take one off again. Now, when we're talking about using masks with young children, what are some recommendations that you would have? So it's recommended that if you have to take your children out in public to the grocery store, doctor's office, pharmacy, um, any of those public places, that your child wear a mask also. Um, with that being said, it is not recommended that a child under the age of two wear a mask at all. Their airways are smaller and this could make it hard for them to breathe when using a mask. Um, so make sure that those are only used for children ages two years and above if you need to go out in public. What if my kiddo has a hard time keeping that mask on or does not have interest in wearing a mask? Yeah, so one recommendation on getting your children to wear a mask when needed is let them decorate that mask or even let them pick out the fabric. Um, if they kind of make it their own, they're more convinced to wear it. Another big thing with that is if us, if we as adults wear the masks, our kids are more apt to wear them also. Um, it's kind of a monkey see, monkey do. They see you doing it and they'll do it also. Those are great tips. I love how you talked about us as adults becoming role models for our young children or even to the public alike. It's one way that we can do our job to keep our others around us and our community safe. Yes. Um, Tristan, would you um, give us some tips on how to do good hand washing, especially during this time? So for hand washing, I'm sure that's something that you have heard quite a bit lately. However, it's always important as a quick reminder on how to wash our hands properly. The first step is to turn on your warm water and then stick your hands under it to get them wet. Next, you're going to take a pump of soap and then you're going to scrub your hands for 20 seconds. While you're scrubbing your hands for 20 seconds, you want to make sure that you get your palms in between your fingers. In between right here on your thumb and your finger is a great spot that germs kind of like to hide or hang out in. On the backs of your hands and on the backs of your fingers. On your wrists. And of course, on your fingernails. 
So make sure you're scrubbing those. You can do a circular pattern to scrub on your fingernails and all over on your hands. One way that you can keep that 20 seconds is by singing the happy birthday song twice or twinkle twinkle little star. Or you can always take a 20 second clip of your favorite song to sing um, during that 20 seconds. Next, you're going to rinse your hands off under that warm water. Make sure that all the soap is off of your hands. The last step is to take a paper towel and dry your hands off and then turn off the faucet or your sink with that paper towel and throw the paper towel into the trash can. Thank you for those tips, Tristan. Those are good hand washing tips. We also wanna remind everyone that wearing masks in public is not just about you and protecting yourself. It's also about protecting others and those around you in those public places. We wanna make sure that we especially continue to protect those who are at higher risk or have compromised immune systems. Yes, that is so very important. It's our job and it's our duty to help protect those around us. And washing our hands and wearing masks is the simplest way that we can do that. Definitely. Thank you guys for joining us and watching our video this morning. We hope everyone stays healthy and well. Have a great day. Awesome. I liked it. I couldn't talk in one part of it, but. Hey, that's okay. Neither